I'm with Gina Ferrerda, who is burger lady extraordinaire. You, oh, you really thank are. You. And we're celebrating <laughs> Burger Month. And, uh, you know, the way that you prepare burgers and the little toppings, and I loved how you are going to talk about customizing them for different diets, Absolutely. different people, different things. So tell me a little bit about what you brought along and All what right. we're going to make well, today. Happy National Hamburger Day. <laughs> so because it's Hamburger Day, this is one of um, all of our family's favorites and everyone. It's pineapple, grilled pineapple, teriyaki, and guacamole. Mm. So it's basically your big, great summer burger. Absolutely. But in order to make it fit into, nowadays everyone is either doing paleo, <laughs> vegan, pagan, vegetarian. They're doing a lot of different things. I say you're not on a diet, you're on a lifestyle. Yeah, and the way that you were able to put these together and adapt, a lot of people aren't good at adapting right. recipes. They see a recipe, they say, well, it's got ingredients in it that I can't eat. And But you can make these wonderful substitutions that make them Absolutely. delicious for everybody. Absolutely. So um, on the website, it has all of the recipes and stuff for it but the biggest thing is um, for all of these is making a teriyaki sauce okay okay so i do a thyme infused teriyaki of course kiko man soy sauce is my favorite i right. put that in everything <laughs> i like dressings everything but um there's alternatives so if you're doing paleo or vegan now that's you're gonna, mine this you turned me on to the coconut amino. but i didn't turn you on to the teriyaki the i just had the regular oh. amino but this is the way to go yes yeah, so this is great um because it's vegan it's soy free so if you're looking it's for an good alternative for and it's yes absolutely it's basically just coconut sap right so very very good so i take um that so garlic and ginger some type of soy or your aminos um some sugar cornstarch and water go okay. ahead and boil that get that up to a nice thickness of teriyaki you're going to put that over your burger of course mm. all burgers 80 20 chuck make sure you have yes. a nice fat content that's right Okay, um, now I'm gonna say all of my, if you can see here, I've grilled some pineapple. Okay, so I take <laughs> the grilled pineapple and I chunk that up with some red onions and some cilantro, uh, tomatoes, and then that's gonna be the salsa, mm. okay, over the burger. Then I have some guajillo garlic guacamole. A lot of I people, didn't know what that was. Okay, so a lot of people put um, jalapenos in their guacamole. You can get um, uh, these dried, Wahio ah. chilies, so, or if you can find ancho chili powder and you could put that in. It gives a nice spice, like a nice smoky. Do you just do you put the seeds in? Do you do the whole? I actually de seed it, okay. de stem it, de seed it, and then I throw it in a food processor or a grinder and I just make just a nice chili okay. powder. Okay, great, great. Out of those, if you have just you can use regular ancho chili powder. So your avocado, celery, salt, cumin, the um, juice of a lime, and then here's, of course, is the teriyaki sauce once you have it all done. Now, go through quick. Regular burger has everything on it. Mm -hmm. um, paleo is going to be your uh, meat burger, but right. using the coconut aminos. Um, then you have your pagan, which is a uh, kind of half paleo, half vegan. Now, that's going to be a half burger, half portobello mushroom. Your vegan, this is going to be a raw spinach wrap. Those wow. are wonderful. You can order right on Amazon. Um, that, of course, is a portobello mushroom. And then the vegetarian is basically the exact same burger, just substituting no meat. Well, Gina, I wanted to ask you, you know, a, a portobello mushroom. I'd yes. love to try it. That mm -hmm. looks so moist and tasty. It is. What do you, how do you prepare that? You just take a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of your soy sauce. Now, if you're going to do pagan, you're going to use your co yeah. coconut aminos. Um, a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, grill it. I'm okay. Just grill Are, it do you marinate it first? Is that um, what you're doing first? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you just put all of that on there, throw it on the grill just a couple minutes because you don't want it mushy. You still I got want it, it to taste like a burger. Right. It's, and it does. <laughs> and it I does. mean, I've tasted them yeah, before, absolutely. so people know how to do it. Well, thank you so much for coming thank out, you. teaching us a little bit about Burger Day here today. And coming up next, we're going to kind of find out about a teen who is looking for a forever home. So stay with us.